When working on a report or a document such as a dissertation, you want to make sure that all the sections you're producing look very professional and have correct numbering. So I'm going to show you how to do a few simple tricks with setting up your um, document. So the first is we've got this fake report here. We can see that the section two, chapter two, starts on the same page as chapter one. We don't want that, we want it to be split between pages. So each chapter is a new page. Really simple to do. Put your cursor before the C of chapter two, so the start of the word. Document elements, break, section break, not page break, I'll show you why in a second. And we've got the characters turned on here. These are the invisible things that you don't really see. And we can see that the section breaks there and finishes and on the next page, we carry on here. Why is this important? Well, apart from it looking nicer, which is always good, we can do some really cool things. So first off, um, I want to put a header in. So I want up here, if I double click in the header and align myself to the right, I'm gonna write chapter one. That's kind of cool. And going down here, on the next page, we've got a problem. It says chapter one again. Actually, it's chapter two. How do we fix this? It's really simple. Double click on the head. Click on the header of footer section at the top. You will see it says link to previous just here. Now, what that means is anything you write in the previous section header will be copied into the next section, the one you're on right now. So if I just click this, unlink, this is on its own, which means I can go through here. Let's call this chapter one, the beginning. Doesn't affect this. I can go forward and call that chapter two, the great chapter, and these two are independent. Now, if I have more text in section one, it'll just carry on filling up with that header repeated, so that's fine. Also helps if you use spell checking. So, um, the next thing, we've got these headers. Now, I've already done this for us. We've um, gone through and put the heading styles. We don't type these numbers ourselves. There's one, 1.1. 1 .1. We use this drop down here, heading one, two, and three. Really basic, and that's just done for us. So, figures. This works same tables as well, but here we're using figures. We want to add a caption to this figure. So we can um, go to insert caption. So we want figure one, the Manchester B. And we can leave it like that, but we want it to be a bit more intelligent. So click on numbering, include chapter numbers, starts with heading one. Click OK, and we'll see that we've got figure 1.1. Okay, let's do it again for this one. Insert, caption, figure 1.2, uh, the clothes show. And let's go down here again. Got another picture, so insert, caption. Bear in mind, we've still got this thing turned on, and you'll see it's changed. We've got figure 2. So another Manchester B, and do it again, insert, caption, another clothes show. So that little part, figure two point, it puts that in automatically, and it updates automatically. So if we added another section in here, so I'm gonna put chapter three, you know what, I have we name this chapter two, that's chapter three. And edit, select all. We should find, yep, press F9 to refresh everything. That's updated to three point. So by using the insert caption and make sure the numbering is turned off for chapter header, you're guaranteed that every single bit of numbering in here is correct as long as you've applied the styles to the heading and use this drop down for that. Now, if you've already got your numbering in place, um, your figures named in place, you can do this really simple cheat to get out of this. So I've got another document here, and I've done this in a different way. So make sure I select everything and update. So we've just got figure one, figure two, uh, 
where are we? Figure one, figure two, figure three, figure four. Now that's not been split yet. So what can we do? Let's just go just turn on this, insert, caption, and there we have our thing. A Manchester B. Okay, so we've now got our give a title. And you can cut this and place it in there. So we've now got the first image, it's been named absolutely fine. But we want that figure 1.1 throughout the rest of the document. This is a bit manual, but it'll still be save you time in the long run. So just copy that, and let's go through this. You'll see it's already added that there. So figure one. That needs to be updated. So select all F9, figure 1.2, figure 2.1, figure 2.2. So there you have it. It's done really quickly and really simply. Um, you can play more things with this with the section breaks. If you click at the bottom here, heads and footers, you see um, similar options to link to previous, but right now it's fine. So that is how you do the format, basic formatting for a report, including the numbering.